All right, so I just got this uh, inexpensive power supply off eBay. It would cost me under $35, free shipping all the way from Hong Kong. And I did a little bit of research on the company. There wasn't much about the power supply itself, but um, the pedals, I guess it's a Kaleen or Kaline uh, music company out of Hong Kong. The pedals are actually getting pretty decent reviews. They're extremely inexpensive, um, and people are, are saying that they're decent. So I figured I couldn't go wrong. Um, a Voodoo Labs or MXR power supply with the same features and the same functionality would run um, $100 or more. Um, so let's give it a shot. I'm going to power up a small stack of pedals here. Uh, we'll run a little bit of um, testing on it as we run a signal through the pedals and see if we get any power dips and so forth. And we'll check it out. Alright, so here's what we have in the box. We have this 18 volt uh, AC-DC adapter. We have this uh, power brick itself. We have two um, polarity adapters, if you will. So they're going to change the standard uh, negative center to a positive center and then the negative would be on the outside. We've got uh, 10 power leads. These go from the brick to the pedals and then we have this brick itself. So um, here we have the 18 volt DC in and um, you have um, eight 9 volt uh, ports here on the front. Uh, the first seven are 100 uh, milliamp ports and then uh, the eight is a 500 milliamp. Then you've got a 12 volt and an 18 volt uh, over here on the uh, right as well. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in and we'll fire up some pedals and we'll uh, test some uh, voltage. Alright, so it looks like quite a mess, but I've got uh, I've got a few pedals plugged in. I've got a wah, a couple of distortion pedals, you know, I've got the Shiba, I've got a I've got a uh, Ibanez uh, CS9 stereo chorus, and I've got a flashback delay here. This is in the 500 uh, milliamp um, circuit because this thing will chew through a battery in like two and a half hours so alright so one thing uh, that is important to note is this thing has some super bright LEDs I'll leave them off for this video but just to show you um, according to the manual which the manual is not bad really um, the, the LEDs double as a pedal board light uh, but they also uh, act as an indicator so for example um, these are all isolated circuits so if uh, if for example there was a short circuit affecting this Ibanez, for example, the light um, for that pedal or that circuit would go out. If the lights begin to flash, say for example in 1 through 7, according to the manual, um, something plugged into that circuit uh, or that uh, power uh, supply or power chain is uh, drawing too many amps. Um, and the same, and then what will happen is each, each uh, when they're flashing, each circuit is actually limited to the 100 milliamps. So, um, and the same is true for all the other the other ports as well. So, all right. So again, just because I don't want to blind you here, I'm going to leave those off. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take a multi tester and I'm, I'm going to test uh, the voltage coming out of um, a port that's not in use, and then we'll kick on all the pedals. And we do have uh, you know the, the amp is on. We have uh, the Ibanez plugged in there, so we'll actually have some um, you know some current going through the pedals. So let's give it a shot here. Let me get the multi tester. All right, so let's go ahead and test the voltage here. I'm plugged into port two. Uh, this is the nine volt hun uh, hundred milliamp port. So uh, remember on most pedals, uh, the center is negative. And the outer ring is positive, so that's what you'll want to do. And we'll check out the uh, polarity reverse adapter afterwards here. So 9.34 is what we're getting right now. All right, so what I'm going to do is kick on a few pedals here and see if that fluctuates at all. So it doesn't even it doesn't even miss a beat. Doesn't hiccup. We don't get any voltage fluctuation at all. Let me hit the wah, it's the last one. Okay, so all the all the pedals are on and we didn't uh, we didn't miss any voltage at all. So let's go ahead and just test the other two ports just for the sake of uh, testing them out because we're we're at it here. Okay, I'm in the 12 volt power supply here. Again, we're going to go negative to the center. Positive to the outer ring. Alright, 12.11. Okay. Let's just 
check out the 18 volt here. Okay, again, we're going negative to the center, positive to the outer, and we're getting 18.36, and everything's on right now, and I don't think it's going to make any difference at all, it's not fluctuating, and again, I'm not running 10 pedals on this thing, I'm only running 5, so um, I don't expect that it's going to be much different if you had it, if you had it uh, maxed out, but for 35 bucks, I'm not complaining because I go through that, you know, in batteries, you know, in, a, in a, a few months, I wouldn't say a month, but I blow through the batteries pretty quickly with these pedals, so. Or sometimes they die from just sitting and not being used. I don't use, you know, I don't use this uh, Boss uh, pedal anymore, really. Um, I only use the Ibanez when I have two amps set up for stereo, of course, so. All right, so let's check out the uh, Polarity uh, Reversal Adapter. All right, so let's test out this polarity uh, adapter real quick. And what we should expect to see, obviously, would be a reverse of what, of what we were seeing before. So the center uh, should be positive, and then the outer should be negative. Uh, so I'm just going to plug into one of these 100 milliamp 9-volt uh, ports. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reverse what I was doing before. We'll start with the positive. We'll get that on the inside here. And then we're going to touch the negative to the outer ring. Okay. And that seems to be working just fine. 9.35. Interesting because we were getting 9.34 before, but maybe it's because nothing's plugged into it. Okay. So just for uh, proof here, let's, uh, let's see if we get a negative value. Negative to the inside positive to the outside, 9.35, negative. You note the, uh, probably the light's making it so you can't see it so well. You note the negative symbol here. So that polarity uh, adapter seems to work just fine. All right, there you have it. It's the Pedal Power 5, I guess it is what they're calling it, uh, from Kayleen Music uh, Company, or Kayleen, Kayleen, if somebody knows how to pronounce that. Uh, go ahead and leave a comment below. Um, you know, I'm encouraged. It, it was like less than $35, uh, free shipping all the way from Hong Kong. This uh, Dunlop adapter here is, uh, I think, $8.99 is the cheapest I can find this on eBay. Free shipping, and you might get two junk uh, patch cables out of it for free. Uh, so you're not going to, you know, by the time you bought five of these, just for five pedals, um, you're right up there in what you could buy this here, which is going to power up ten pedals. So the only uh, pedal that I can't power up is the analog man and uh, the analog man himself recommends using this cheapo 99 cent battery and uh, this Sunface um, you know with the germanium transistor it uh, it uh, supposedly sounds more authentic with uh, with one of these batteries and I'll be honest with you I haven't actually tested it but analog man himself and I don't mean Joe Walsh analog Mike I guess he is uh, recommends using a cheapo battery so what I may do in an upcoming video is actually run one of these batteries against a current, you know, Energizer Alkaline or something, so. Alright, thanks for watching. Please leave questions and comments below.